What's up everybody? Welcome back to Seeds of BNG. Got a couple projects going on today. That is right. Andre said, hey, the pool is getting dirty. <laughs> I don't know if the camera could catch it, but it's green. A little bit of algae in there. Algae. Algae. Um, trash is at the bottom. Andre is going to start vacuuming the pool out once we get majority of this stuff off the bottom. I'll, um, I'll drop in some shock. And we'll kind of scrub with the brush on the sides and um, loosen everything up and try to see how clear we could get it back, uh, how clear we could get it. Um, this is actually not bad compared to um, a lot of other people's pools that I've seen. Um, this is pretty much making it through the winter. And this is what we have right here. You can still see the bottom. You can still see everything that's on the bottom. What about these things that are floating? They'll get caught in the, um, they'll get caught in the filter. Like if it keeps going around, that feather will actually get caught in the um, in the filter over there. Okay. Right now, I, I have it. I have the pool um, pump set on circulate, so it's pumping water just about hard as it can. Um, I have the the return pushing at the ground, so it's starting that spiral. That's why you see the stuff kind of moving in a circle. But we'll see what we can do. Vacuum it out. And I have some um, some shock and some algae killer. You can see the salt composite stuck on the aluminum from the um, from the pool here, but we'll get it going. I'm trying to figure out where there's a piece missing, and it's not making me happy right now because I can't figure out where it's at. All right, next time you see us, we'll be vacuuming. AJ's gonna come out, drill some holes out into our lumber, and we're gonna go ahead and see if we can spike that down as well. All right, that's all I got right now. Say, Ranger. There you go, say hello. We'll let you out in a minute. Just. All right, guys. Andre's been out here vacuuming for a while now, for a little bit. He's already got. Two big piles of leaves from the bottom. As you see, he is getting it out of there. Keep going, buddy. Good job. Good job. And I believe AJ has already made it all the way around this side and around the edges so we can start um, putting the stakes in for the wood. So let me put um, two bags of shock in the pool so it can start working. Uh, two bags of shock in the pool so it can start working. And we'll give Andre a break here and we can let the pool start cleaning up a little bit and then we'll come back and it should be a little bit clearer for us to see the bottom. So let's see if that works out for us. This is what we're looking like now. I don't know if y'all can tell, still very green. But we'll start working it now. All right guys, so we came out, drilled holes into the timbers. This one needs to straighten up a little bit, but. I won't complain. Drilled holes, put the stakes in. We used a little torch right here. This little torch we used and went down the side and burned off all the extra um, fabric. So we didn't nail down the top corner over there because we still need to put down a little bit of fabric just from one side of the trellis to the other side not all the way down here and not that patch up there those are going to be patches that alicia uses to plant in the ground and we're going to leave these timbers out right here for now just to keep keep some weight on the um on the fabric andre why didn't you put these in i don't know why Huh? I didn't know how you wanted to align it if you wanted to cut it or not. Mm, we probably could. Let's see. We're going to have to dig this out a little bit. 
Well, maybe not. Let's see if we can stack it in right here. That should be good if we can get this, if we can get this end to go down. I don't think we're going to be able to. Just because it's a hill. We need to figure this out. This is um, really not even, so we're going to you need to get a shovel and dig some of that dirt out of the edge there so that we can bring the board down to even. But what I was saying was Alicia's going to plant in the ground over here on this side. So all that's going to be place for her to plant in the ground. And then the other side here is going to be a nice spot to plant in the ground. Um, I mean... This may end up being a, uh, a greenhouse spot. It looks like a pretty good spot for a greenhouse as well to go across there, but we'll see. Um, we need to put down some fresh fabric right here maybe just to top it off for, from where the, um, the grass grows through there. And then over here, we're gonna bring the fresh new fabric, maybe just 10 or 15 feet. We're gonna plant it from, I meant not plant it. We're gonna put it down from the edge here just to just to the swing so just so that we have fresh um, fabric down without these big holes for things to grow through should be pretty cool should be um end up looking like we want it to look here got a few more timbers that we could bring in just to bring around this area and border off to where we almost have like a walkway by uh, entrance to the garden here i think that's what she was looking for um, maybe border it right here and border it all the way around there and we should have plenty of timbers for that so got some sticks and stuff on fire back there I'm gonna stay out here and make sure that happened that burns pretty good and in control um, let's walk up here and look at the pool real quick let's see if we made any headway with that we need to put what did we put in? I think we put in three bags of chalk. No, two. Three. Two. AJ went and got one more, remember? Oh. Come in here. Let's see what's going on with the, the shock. All right. <laughs> the shock actually turns the water blue. So it's a little bit more blue than green, but it still, still has some work to be done. So we'll let it do its thing. And we'll probably put the brush on to brush some of this um, some of this algae free. Um, it's not hooked up, son. Oh. You want to finish vacuuming? Yes. Okay. Andre wants to finish vacuuming, so I'm going to set this back up. AJ, go take a look at the fire just for now. And I'll send you back in in a little bit. Disconnect that water from the um, chicken thing first. I turned it off already, but... Pull it out. All right, let me hook this up, Andre. guys this is what we got got the edge in like we want it got the excess um, fabric removed using the torch not exactly super straight but we're okay with that and we got it tacked down AJ came out and drilled holes now this one will go in a little bit further but AJ came out drilled the holes Andre went around with our 12 inch spikes Got them put into the ground. I need to cut this end off right here. Probably, probably about right there. Cut that so it'll be even. And we got that tacked all the way down here as well. Um, had to run back here and grab the tractor, but the tractor was already back here. My control burn got a little bit out of control, or at least for my sake. Um, some of these pine needles or whatever caught and kind of start spreading, so Got the bucket, dropped the tiller, and just start smothering, smothering that down. Um, 
these little loose pieces of fabric was in there but I think the culprit was um, these pine needles they could just blow off it's not exactly calm out here if you can see the trees moving a little bit so I may try to move that to a day actually a lot of it so it's pretty much burnt died down but um, I start putting bigger logs and stuff like that on it um, but I'll wait till a day where it's rainy or they're calling for rain or it's just rained or something like that to where I won't have to worry about that um, mainly we was, was trying to make sure all this plastic doesn't catch on fire or none of that catch on fire because once it catches it, it it will just run so that would have been a disaster but let's just say we got what we wanted done today I need to go up there to the pool a little bit more vacuuming needs to be done on the pool and I need to drop in the um, I guess it's like an algae killer I put in the pool shock and I turned the chlorinator up to um, super chlorinate out here and let me grab this saw real quick and see if I can get this done <laughs> I'm gonna cut the plastic and everything let's see don't know if you guys are gonna be able to catch this or not let's see I think I'm gonna be able to go across about right there let's see what we get come back out and put a hole here in the end of that so that we can put a spike in it so now we have it somewhat even going around the edge let's see put the saw in the tractor I lose all my tools but I'm leaving them out in gardens inside. hammer Over there somewhere on the ground. Alright, that's all I got for right now. I'm gonna go up and check the pool. I'll see y'all over there. What's up guys? I must admit, sometimes I get bored and I just grab the tractor and start doing stuff. This is Ranger's doo-doo minefield. Used to be. So what I did was come in here, it was so much poop that you couldn't pick it up and it was useless trying to rake it. So I put a light teal right on the top. That's probably two or three inches deep and just went really fast back and forth to teal that in. I'll let it settle a little bit, grab the box blade one day, try to even it out. Um, that might actually help me even out some of these low spots as well. But that's what I did. This is what we're looking like in the pool. Still a little bit, um, still a lot green, but um, We'll let it let it stay pumping and doing what it, doing its thing for a while, um, and then I put in that uh, I think the allergy side or something like that. But um, I'll get that in and I'll keep y'all updated on the pool. Alrighty, stay tuned. 